Welcome to the Fine Lecture Series. On behalf of the Perinatology Research Branch of NICHD and the National Institutes of Health, my name is Lami Yo and I am one of the developers of Fine. The purpose of this presentation is to review stick technology and its features, the importance of operator training and experience, and the importance of acquiring high quality stick volumes. We will then provide general recommendations on performing 4D sonography with STIC for the FINE method. STIC technology allows acquisition of a fetal cardiac volume data set and visualization of cardiac structures as a cine loop of a complete single cardiac cycle in motion. Because this is a volume data set, this provides the examiner with an unlimited number of images for review. Moreover, Stick volumes may be stored indefinitely and reviewed offline by the examiner or even by experts remotely through telemedicine. With the four-chamber view as the acquisition plane and applying appropriate settings, the volumetric ultrasound probe should automatically sweep from the fetal upper mediastinum down to the stomach. Here is an example of a stick volume being acquired. It sweeps from the upper mediastinum through the four chamber view and then down to the fetal stomach. When completed, the stick volume display comprises thousands of 2D images acquired through the areas of interest during the single automated sweep. B mode images are arranged in order according to their spatial and temporal domains, therefore, the term spatial temporal image correlation. After image rearrangement, an ordered sequence of volume data sets is displayed within seconds on the screen as a continuous cine loop containing all phases of the cardiac cycle. Stick volumes are typically shown as a multiplanar display. This format allows correlation between image planes that are perpendicular to the main acquisition plane in the upper left corner, hence the term multiplanar. Note that multiple planes of the fetal heart in motion can be visualized and examined at the same time. With the fine method, however, no multiplanar view is ever displayed. Instead, once a stick volume has been acquired, the system will automatically convert the volume into a two-dimensional cine loop that scrolls in a continuous fashion as shown here. This is why it is called stick loop. This is a tool that aids the user in determining the appropriateness of stick volume data sets before implementation of the FINE method. Now, an important clinical question is, can stick volume acquisition be incorporated into the daily practice of ultrasound centers? And the answer is yes. This study from the Netherlands reported that incorporating stick volume acquisition into the daily practice of a fetal echocardiography program is feasible. Yet it is also very important to acquire high quality stick volumes. This is because the ability to visualize fetal cardiac structures is correlated with stick volume quality. Moreover, when volumes are of high quality, they are more likely to be informative when analyzed. In other words, allowing the successful display of cardiac planes and anatomic structures. What has become clear is that the acquisition of high quality stick volumes requires adequate training. To address this, our team has published several technical innovation articles that review how to acquire stick volumes to examine the fetal heart. Part one reviews the acquisition of high quality stick volumes, as well as factors that affect stick volume acquisition rates. There are three main time points that deserve focus when acquiring stick volume data sets. Before the acquisition of stick volumes, during the acquisition, and immediately after acquisition of stick volumes, in which either the multiplanar display or stick loop is examined to determine if the volume is appropriate for analysis. The article provides a detailed and practical stepwise approach on how to perform 4D sonography with stick. 
We will begin now by providing general recommendations for the FIND method. First, let's discuss gestational age. In general, we recommend that stick volumes be acquired between 19 and 30 weeks of gestation for optimal assessment of fetal cardiac anatomy. High quality stick volumes tend to become more difficult to obtain after this gestational age range due to fetal positioning and acoustic shadowing. However, stick volumes of superior quality can still be obtained throughout the third trimester. Challenges of performing 4D sonography with stick in the first trimester include frequent fetal motion and the size of cardiac structures. It is important to play an active role when acquiring stick volumes for fine. For example, one should proactively get the fetus into a more optimal position. This can be accomplished by asking the patient to roll laterally onto one or both of her sides have her sit up, ambulate, or go to the restroom. It is also helpful to move fetal parts out of the imaging field of view when applicable. This can be done by placing one's hands on the maternal abdomen. Another method is to gently tap on the abdomen or ask patients to cough to get the baby to move. Success in stick volume acquisition can also be achieved by constantly adapting to the fetal situation and practicing efficiency. For example, one should always recognize when there is an optimal moment to image the fetal heart and acquire stick volumes. Here, the fetal spine is anterior and it may be difficult to adequately visualize the fetal heart due to shadowing. However, if the fetus changes to a supine position during the ultrasound examination, this may be an optimal time to go ahead and start acquiring stick volumes. Another strategy is that when fetuses are not in an optimal position, one should perform the rest of the sonographic examination, thus allowing time for the fetus to change into a more optimal position. One can examine the other fetal organs or obtain biometric measurements, for example. In our center, when we plan to acquire stick volumes on a given patient, we use the volumetric transducer throughout the examination. This is because if one is constantly switching back and forth between the probe for two-dimensional imaging and the volumetric transducer, this takes time, requires setting changes, and becomes an inefficient process when performed frequently during the exam. Since capturing stick volumes can occur at any time during the ultrasound exam, it is very helpful to prepare the acquisition settings on the ultrasound machine beforehand. For example, the sector width around the heart should be decreased, as well as the depth below the fetal heart in the imaging window to maximize the frame rate. The region of interest box shown here should be as small as possible to maximize the frame rate and improve the temporal resolution of the stick volume. It is very important to also set the acquisition angle and time for the stick volume. This will be discussed in detail later in this lecture series. All of the measures described on the previous slides are helpful because if conditions suddenly become optimal for stick acquisition, for example, the fetal spine becomes posteriorly located, the settings have already been programmed and one can immediately proceed with the stick volume acquisition. The last general recommendation when acquiring stick volumes for the FIND method is to prepare the patient beforehand. We have found that it is very helpful to the patient for you to discuss the purpose of 4D sonography with stick and how it is performed. The patient should be told that participation is encouraged, such as maintaining a breath hold during the actual acquisition and remaining motionless during that time. In conclusion, 4D sonography with stick allows the acquisition of a fetal cardiac volume data set and cardiac structures are shown as a cine loop of a single cardiac cycle in motion. 
When stick volumes are high quality, they are more likely to be informative when analyzed. The acquisition of high quality stick volumes requires adequate training. And we recommend that stick volumes be acquired in general between 19 to 30 weeks for optimal assessment of the fetal cardiac anatomy. Thank you for your attention.